More now on tonight's top story as the country stands divided on the non indictment of two officers who are at the center of cases involving the deaths of black men. The local community attempts to form better relationships between the NOPD and black men. WDS reporter Casey Fran live now with more on tonight's panel discussion. Casey. Hey, Scott. Well, there were some protesters here at Lee Circle, Lee Circle earlier calling for all black men to be treated fairly by the police. Now, the police chief says that his department is working on changing its culture by um, creating more training and better oversight of its officers. While demonstrators gathered in Lee Circle calling for justice and for all people to be treated equally, panelists at SUNO discussed how the black community and police can better interact with one another. There is an ingrained perception in the black community that we are over policed and underserved. That, that is that perception. Now, how, where do you go with that perception? How do you change that perception? That is an issue that we have to deal with in the community. Malcolm Suber came looking for answers to those questions. The source of the problem is not the people. The source of the problem is within the NOPD in the way that they approach and treat people, especially young black males. Superintendent Michael Harrison says they are working to train officers to be hard on crime but soft on people. Community policing is not the absence of enforcement. And so we still want everyone to know that we're serious about enforcement. We're serious about protecting people from people who want to commit harm and commit crime. What we don't want to do is take it out on people and treat people harshly. He says it's about changing a long-standing culture within the force, but Suber questions whether the new chief is the right man to tackle that task. How can somebody who had their entire police career and training in an unconstitutional police force somehow uh, change that that history. We took that question to Chief Harrison. While we were good at doing a lot of things, I realized that there were some, some issues that we need to improve on. Um, and one of those issues is our culture and how we uh, view each other, how we view the citizens, how we bridge this gap between the citizens and the, and the police department so that we're all the community instead of two separate entities. Now, the chief also says that they are working to better treat the public as they wish to be treated. And he says that the new body cameras that they are wearing has also helped improve the way officers behave with the public and also how the public behaves with officers. On your side, I'm Casey Ferran, WDSU News.